there's a whole range of nematodes positive, beneficial nematodes through to those that parasitize humans, animals, as well as plants. Nematodes are found everywhere on the globe, basically. So a plant parasitic nematode is worm-like. Most of them are worm-like, uh, some do differ, uh, but at some stage of their life cycle, all of them have a worm-like or vermiform and feed on plant tissue, either from the soil or from within the root. And others start their life as an egg, and then they hatch into a worm-like infective juvenile. They infect the plant tissue, they cause a huge amount of damage, which often goes unnoticed or is allocated to other problems, such as soil fertility. For example, if you see a crop in the field, uh, that's chlorotic, it's stunted, it's wilting, it's not doing very well. Uh, it may be put down to a lack of fertilizer or nitrogen or a lack of water even. Uh, the reality is, is that if the roots have been infected with nematodes and uh, particularly if it's severe damage, the root system is inefficient, it doesn't work properly and it's unable to access the water and the nutrients that are there in the soil. So the problems behind this is that very few people actually are aware of or know about nematodes and nematode problems. There aren't very many nematologists in the first place, which is part of the problem, but the University of Ghent runs a, a master's course in, in nematology, an international nematology course, the only one in the world as far as I'm aware, and uh, each year uh, some 20, 30 graduates graduate in nematology and go back to the, the less developed countries and establish themselves as nematologists in many cases. And in other cases, they may work in an agricultural setting, but have got good understanding and knowledge uh, of nematodes and nematode problems. The International Master of Science in Agro and Environmental Nematology, or IMANEMA, is an internationally renowned master program focusing on nematodes. Since its start in 1992, we have been sponsored by the Belgian Directorate General for Development Cooperation and through its agency, the Vlir OOS, we received scholarships for students coming from Africa, Asia and Latin America. So far, we have trained about 350 students from 71 different nationalities. And throughout the lifetime of our master program, we have undergone several changes. This resulted in a project with two main components. First of all, we were organizing two short satellite trainings in nematology. One in Ethiopia at Jima University, which is called the Summer Course Nematology. It was coordinated by our alumnus, Professor Beira Hailumeresa. We have trained about 30 students from Ethiopia and one from Sudan. A second training is the Basic Crash Course in Nematology, or the BCCN. This training was organized with the NEM Africa team at IATA MCP based in Nairobi in Kenya. The majority of the trainees were sponsored by the Vlir US Kariuki Scholarship and we named this scholarship after the late Professor George Kariuki who was one of the founders in nematology at Kenyatta University. Through the uh, BCCN or the Basic uh, Crash Course in Nematodes, uh, our technical managers uh, got training uh, in the basic techniques of handling nematodes, especially in quantification, uh, identification, and also getting to learn more about the beneficial nematodes. And what is interesting with this course is that these Imanema students are the teachers of the course. And this was new to us in the beginning. We didn't even know what to expect and we were actually a bit worried because we were thought we would, as a supervisor, would be doing the teaching. But actually, we are just there in the background supervising the students, teaching the students, if you like. And it works marvelously. And, and with that, they will again gain that confidence. A bit rocky start, but it usually turns out excellently. And uh, both the participants um, appreciate this kind of um, teaching, I think. A second component of our project is the inclusion of a Kenya track into the curriculum of our master program. This Kenya track gives our students the opportunity to get hands-on experience in a region that is similar to that of their home country. The Kenya track includes a professional internship of one month in Kenyan companies and institutes. Then it is followed by a training on tropical pests and diseases where our students visit several farms in Kenya. Here, they go into the field, see the damage that is caused to crops, talk to the farmers, take samples with the idea 
of formulating an integrated pest management strategy with the focus on nematodes. Then last but not least, our students become the facilitators of the basic crash course in nematology. There was another course which was called Tropical Crop Pest and Diseases. And in this particular course, we visited different farms in Kenya. And this was exciting for the whole team, me included, because we were able to identify not just a nematode problem, we also identified um, other diseases from other pathogens. And also we were able to get soil samples to identify nematodes that infected these particular crops. We found an opportunity to partner with ECP and uh, Ghent University to provide the center as a platform to receive those uh, students coming from Ghent. One of the key highlights is uh, the unique focus of specifying this uh, internship specifically for the nematology work. Um, as you would know, of course, in Kenya, nematology is uh, tucked away behind the wider discipline of, of plant pathology. But this, this is an internship program provides us an opportunity to amplify the importance of nematology. An important result from the project is that our nematology program was able to significantly expand its network in Sub-Sahara Africa with valuable partners. An example of such a new network is the Nematology Education in Sub-Sahara Africa project or simply NEMEDUSA. This is a European funded project and it focuses on capacity building in higher education. We recently started in 2021 and we have formed a partnership with 16 partners of which 14 are based in Sub-Sahara Africa. The aim of this project is to enhance the curricula in nematology at the higher educational institutes from our partners, also to stimulate collaboration and networking of nematologists within the continent, and finally to organize several activities towards a broad range of stakeholders to increase nematology awareness. We, of course, wish to continue to train the future generation of nematologists. Because we depend on funds to be able to sponsor students from the South, we need to find other opportunities or more opportunities to sponsor these students. Should, in the worst case, we will not be able to continue with our project, our aim is to support our alumni in taking over this important job in training the next generation.